All right, welcome to module seven. So in this particular module, we'll focus our efforts towards two words. I didn't say we will fully understand. I said we'll have our efforts towards understanding entropy. Okay. And from the get-go, I want to tell you that this is absolutely the hardest conceptual concept that you can see in this particular course. Okay. It is very hard to grasp, and also it's hard to teach to be from my side too. Okay. Okay. So let me let me stop at that. I want to tie this to the module uh, six. So we have this TH over here, we have the TL over here, I have the heat engine, right? And I make QH, I call this QL, and I have some work output from this, right? And we also talk about the efficiency of this particular um, heat engine, and we said that this is going to be, what is my output? Obviously, it says out there, so it's kind of clear. QH, this was... Uh, basically QH minus QL, so I got myself 1 minus QL by QH, okay? What is more important in the entropy concept is, we said that, uh, if you remember, if this cycle is reversible, only under the conditions of this reversible, reversible, my QL by QH turns out to be TL by TH. So it's only a function of the, the temperatures of the reservoirs that I'm pulling heat from and I'm dumping heat to, okay? And so this, this particular uh, reversible equation became TL by TH, if you remember this. So now this entropy is going to help me from this particular angle. So let me ask you this. Um, the irre um, you know, I one thing I didn't really talk about when it was reversible is how do I know if it is reversible or not? Okay. The, I wasn't able to quantify it. I gave you some factors that makes the process irreversible. But you, 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 as you've seen in these factors, they were pretty big factors. The friction, the, the heat transfer rate, um, through, through a finite um, difference, etc. So those will make it irreversible. But how do I know I have a reversible process? So the entropy will help us to quantify that. Okay? When I say it's irreversible, right? How much is irreversible? I don't know, know that, right? Um, the same thing, like let's say that I, I say today is a cold day out, right? As Emma Floridian, that's quite different than somebody up north, right? So it's the same thing over here. How irreversible? So the entropy is going to help me there. Okay. Okay. So now what I will do is I will follow what Clausius did, and we remember we talked about Clausius in the uh, Clausius statement in the last uh, module six, but he kind of modified this particular cycle I'm looking at heat engine, and I'm actually going to have the same one as well. However the temperature change to TR, okay? Uh, why do we do this kind of change? Well, this concept is too easy and students are getting really good grades in the exam, so we wanted to mess with the students, so we just put an R. Okay, I'm joking, you'll see why in a minute. This is a reversible one that I'm looking at. We call this QR, makes sense, right? I just replaced this by that. And I have a heat engine in here, and the heat engine output uh, is reversible, okay? But one thing is, uh, he said that this is going to be a reversible. So as this is a reversible, I'm going to put these uh, to indicate that the, 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 the heat transfer between this and this is kind of small, isn't it? Right? Um, and the output will be fairly small as well because I'm only putting this much of uh, heat. How much can I expect to come out of that? Right? Okay. Now here's the unique part of what he talked about. So this is still going to be dumped and he called this uh, Q. The, the, the del, del Q. Right? It, it indicates that it's a very small amount of Q. And instead of dumping this to the reservoir, he said that why don't we put into a system, okay, and he called this a system, any, any system, okay, it doesn't have to be reversible, okay, um, it doesn't have to be a cycle, he didn't specify anything related to that yet, okay, and this will be, you know, let's say that the, the output of this will be system, okay, so, okay, is this fine? Well, let me look into that from this angle. Let's do ourselves a box like this and analyze it, okay? So let's go back up here, back over here, TR, and I have this dotted line, right? The output of this dotted line will be basically this. I'm simply copy-pasting what I see up there, right? W system. And, you know, just for the sake of it, I'm going to call this the, the total, uh, you know, energy output, okay? And the inlet is uh, del Q R. That's it, right? So do you see something over here? 
Does this violate anything that we this we covered so far? I can almost hear you say yes, yes, yes. It is gonna violate Calvin Planck statement, right? Why? Because what the Calvin Planck statement says is it is impossible for any device that is operating on a cycle. So right now, I'm, what I'm saying is this is operating. The combination of this is operating on a cycle. Okay. So think of this as this particular. Let's do it in red. Um, this particular system to be like a piston cylinder and this can be a cycle it can go, go up and down up and down up and down right that's just one example um, nothing wrong with that right it is impossible so basically Calvin Planck said that it is impossible for a, for a cycle to receive heat from a single reservoir and produce an net amount of work and this is exactly what it is doing so this is this doesn't exist in real life okay so and I will use what I'm gonna say next uh, in probably like 10 minutes but so this the work output of this particular cycle cannot be positive if it is positive what happens is it is violating Calvin Planck statement and I'm gonna use this in about 10 minutes like I said okay but for now I'm gonna uh, you know uh, move on and what I will do is I will write my first law to the dotted system okay and if I write that uh, I will see well whatever is uh, you know e in minus e out is equal to the e of the system right um, so let's do it this QR is being coming into my system. This is coming out from my system, and this will be DE of you know basically the dotted uh, area that I want to talk about. Okay, but remember that what we said. This is we are talking about the Calvin Planck statement, which I will focus my efforts towards. So that means that this must be a cycle. As this is a cycle, this will be zero. Okay, if it is not a cycle, do not erase this. Okay, um, and this can be a legitimate way of looking at this. And I also say that this is going to be reversible because that's how the, we have uh, defined it. Looking at, um, do you remember that like this is reversible, right? We didn't say anything about this one. If this is reversible, what will happen is, um, you know, it's actually up here. I made this relationship for this, right? So I'll write the exact same thing. So this time around, my QR del Q will be uh, TR by let's call the temperature of the system, which I don't know, is T, okay? Can I say that? If it is reversible, absolutely, okay? So then from here, I will just simply find this like that, TR times del Q by T, okay? And I will go ahead and replace simply, like pull this down over here, and I get myself um, TR times del Q by T minus del well, T, will be equal to zero if this is on a cycle, okay? So, okay, then from here, del WT will be equal to TR times del Q by T. And now what I'm gonna do is I'll take the integral of both sides. Can I do it? Oh yeah, why not? This is, these are mathematical speaking, these are differentials, so I can take integral of them. So I'm gonna take the integral of both sides. The basic, I'm gonna do this and to the right-hand side too, okay? Um, and when I do the left hand side, the integral of this, you may be thinking of this like it, you know, like uh, we talked about this before. What is this? X, right? Same logic. I'm gonna get myself basically the work total work output of this will be now the TR. As I'm making a change in the temperature over here, temperature, this TR is reservoir, as we talked about, reservoir temperatures are constant. And I can take um, again, I say the you know very simple. Can I say that this is two of dx? Oh yeah, absolutely. So I'll do the same thing tr, okay? And then I will have an integral, but this time I'm gonna put a, a circular integral. The, why do I do it? Is It's a cycle, okay? Because I started with the Planck, uh, Kevin Planck statement. Um, I'll, I'll go towards that angle. So the whole thing is a cycle. Is this a cycle? And also remember that if this is not a cycle, this equation is not valid because the e term is not zero, right? Um, and then, Okay, let me proceed, del Q by T. I don't know, uh, you know, I cannot do any more simplification over here, okay? Why I did was, why I did this is, take a look over here, and take a look at over here, we discussed this. So this W T must be less than zero, or zero itself, okay? So this section, this must be equal to, or less than zero, okay? The TR, TR can be negative, right? Because if I use, let's say, minus five Celsius, it can be negative. Wrong, no. Because we said that these are absolute thermodynamic 
temperature scales, right? There is no minus. So this is always positive regardless of what the temperature is because this is defined in terms of a Rankin, this is defined in terms of a Kelvin. So this is always positive. So what this means is that only this will determine the fate of this particular equation, okay, or rather the inequality. So then over here, I get this del Q by T is equal to or less than zero. And this is Clausius inequality. You see how difficult it is? You, you don't quite get it just yet, I'm sure. But also, you know, it is not equal to. We, we like to see equations with is equal to, okay? It's important that this is valid for, uh, you know, a cycle, okay? And it doesn't have to be a heat engine. It can be a refrigerator too, okay? So if this is reversible, okay? If reversible, it doesn't have to be. I'm saying that if this is reversible, I can also operate the Carnot cycle. This is called the Carnot cycle, right? If this whole thing is a Carnot cycle, I can operate this in a reverse manner too, right? It is called a refrigerator. If reversible, and I'm not going to do the whole exact same analysis over here, but if you do the whole thing, then you will see that I will have a reversed, uh, you know, Carnot cycle. Then I will get myself this. This time around, I get this to be um, equal or larger than zero. Okay. Again, I'm not doing the whole thing because it is kind of long, right? Uh, so now I'll ask you a question. This must be satisfied. This must be satisfied. So for a reversible cycle, only for a reversible cycle, I'm going to highlight that like 10 times, okay? For a reversible cycle, what does that mean in terms of this del Q by T? That means that del Q by T must be equal to zero, isn't it? Because it satisfies this in here, it satisfies this over here. If this was 1, it's not going to satisfy this. If this was minus 1, then it's not going to satisfy this. So it has to be 0. There's no other way, okay? So again, I want to write this like 10 times if reversible, because I will, and 100% sure, I will see many students using this as an irreversible, using this equation. This is equal to 0, okay? If I want to also write irreversible as well, not reverse, but the regular Carnot cycle. So I get this to be less than zero, isn't it? Because I'm saying class use in inequality says that this is supposed to be either zero or less than zero. If it is zero, then it's reversible. If it is irreversible, then this must be less than zero, okay? And also Carnot said that we are gonna go ahead and call this as a, a entropy, okay? This is called entropy, this relationship like you're seeing over here, okay? So if I write, rewrite this, then ds, this is capital letter, will be del qt for reversible, okay? I also want to talk about that this, this entropy is a property. What do I mean by that is this, if I go through a cycle, I start, like, let's say that I have one, I have two, I have three over here, and I, I go back to the original uh, starting point. What I'm saying is, if I go through the cycle, I go back to the original one, right? That means that this is a property. The cycle entropy is constant, internal energy is constant, specific volume is constant, right? So just like that, entropy is a property. Actually, when you look at the tables, you will see on the very right hand right side of the table, you will see entropy listed there in the tables. All the tables, or rather, many of the tables, they listed over there. Okay? So what's the units of entropy? So the, when you look at this, this is heat transfer per uh, mathematical symbols doesn't have uh, units, right? Um, sometimes students say it's uh, 1 over T. No, that's, a, uh, you know, you're using the most common differentiation that we use, but that doesn't, you know. Um, but anyways, this is heat transfer. This is heat transfer divided by the absolute temperature, right? So what that means is it's going to be kilojoule. I mean, it's joule, but we use kilojoule more per Kelvin, or I can have BTU per Rankin, okay, it's a little bit different than what we have covered before and this is the capital letter, okay I can also define, um, you know, lowercase s will be equal to capital S divided by M, right Actually, let me rewrite this, it looks like a small letter, so like a less, capital S, right But, the, you know, so this is specific entropy, but unfortunately, again, as this concept is too easy We are making it even harder to you We use entropy to define this and we use entropy to define that so you need to look at the, uh, the units to really understand which one I'm talking about, okay? One last thing before I close off the segment is I can also, I don't have to operate in a cycle, 
if I go process 1 to 2 in a reversible manner, again, please take a look at it. This is only for reversible, right? It is irreversible. I cannot write what I'm going to write next. I will introduce that as soon if it is irreversible, okay? But what I do is I can simply go ahead and take the integral from 1 to 2 for both sides, okay? The left hand side, as this is a property, is right here. Where's dx? I forgot. Right here. It's the same thing over here. So I'm going to get s. Uh, but I go from S2 minus S1, right? That's what I'm going to get, S2 minus S1. And I'm going to call this delta S. will be equal to the integral 1 to 2 del Q by T reversible, okay? Again, I want to tell this, uh, you know, you will be saying, why is this guy keep saying the same thing on over again? Because I will see the issue. This is only for reversible. Irreversible, I'll talk soon. But this is not valid for irreversible, only for reversible, okay? Okay, I'm going to stop over here because it's been a long segment.